Hey friends, Tux here, and I got this awesome package in the mail today. This thing weighs a ton, oh my gosh. This is YouTube friend mail, and this is from Night Stalker 58 2003 and this I have no idea what's in here and I just want to first off say thank you uh, for this wonderful box be sure and check out her channel she just has a few videos up but check it out um, they're cool and I can't wait to see what's in here and if you guys are interested sometimes I will do viewer mail that kind of thing uh, sometimes I wait for a few to build up sometimes if it's a big box like this or the one I got from Nice time if you look back in my queue I'll go ahead and do it right away but um, if you're interested the address is actually in the about tab here and you can fill Feel free to send me some stuff if you want okay and every now and then i've been known to send something back to you so you just never know okay um the box itself she sent is really cute she does have um some cats on it look at this cool cat sticker here i don't know if you see this it's got kind of a like a hologram changing kind of thing kind of looks like spot the black one so really cute and um, just really nice box and man this thing is so heavy um, I'm guessing maybe there's some kind of cards or something in here um, not really sure but this honestly I wish I had a scale to show you how much this thing weighs it literally weighs a ton so anyway thanks in advance so let's go ahead and open this up here and just see what we have inside the box I love 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 getting mail it's like one of my favorite things let's see here do, do, do. I mean, this thing is like bulging actually at the seams a little bit. And I'll try and do this well. I don't know if I can really do this blind box style or not. I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up here and we'll go ahead and pull some stuff out. Wow, this is like an amazing array of stuff. Read me. Cool little note on top. That's always a good idea. Let's see here. And I'll go ahead and open this up. Wow, this is like Christmas. I'm, I'm really shocked. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this little note here. And we'll go ahead and try and kind of read through this real quick. Hey Tux, Night Stalker here. Since you're reading this, it means you got the package and it's hopefully safe. Uh, I sent a good mix of things. Most things are wrapped up. Let's see, have fun going through everything. Some items uh, might be doubles I got. Enjoy. No, that's fantastic. And there's some really cute little cat hologram stickers here. So obviously she is a cat fan, um, as am I. We got two cats in this household. And uh, one is Spot, and the other's name is Johnny Cat. And Johnny Cat's actually a lot bigger than Spot. But we try and keep the two a little bit separated. Even though Spot's small, she's a little, like, possessive. So we try and not have them together because they do fight every now and then, you know? Cats will be cats, I guess. So um, anyway, Spot is usually the one you'll see in these videos. But maybe in a future video, I'll show you a uh, Johnny Cat, who's a really nice cat, too. Okay? All right. I mean, I don't even know where to start with this. Um, I guess I will start. I might just have to break this into stuff for a few videos. I'm going to show everything in here, and I'll open some things. But I think this is this is almost too much to include in one video. So God, I gotta. I want to say thank you very much. There's so much cool stuff. Um, let's go ahead and take first take a look here in the GameStop bag here, and see what we have. Wow, there's a whole bunch of like blind bags and stuff. These are, looks like the doubles that she got, which is really cool because I can always use these too. And we got some Walking Dead stuff here. And what I'll do, I think, is I'll, I'll kind of just show what's in the box and then I may open some at the very end. That way, if you're curious, you, um, you can see what's in it first and then kind of come through it. But we got some really cool little um, Walking Dead figures here. And I really like The Walking Dead a lot, too. I don't know if you guys watched the series. I kind of, like, when it first came out, I watched it and I kind of gave up on it. And I've kind of gotten back into it. And I really do enjoy it a lot. I don't really watch the, the Rise of Walking Dead or that the prequel Walking Dead, although it is really cool, though, too. Looks like there's a few different series here. And you know, for the longest time, here's a little fun fact. I didn't know the W is for like Walker or Human. See like the little H on this one? So like, I didn't know like what that stood for. So if you're trying to collect them, if you need to like increase your human army versus the walkers, you can actually do that pretty effectively without having to buy too many. Oh my gosh, look at this Super Mario things. Oh, these are awesome, man. Uh, these that look like they're like little, um, little hangy like keychain phone charms so that's really cool man and i'll probably save these for a future video um like a nintendo video coming up but that is so cool uh thank you so much really awesome stuff um we got let's see it looks like five of these 
and there's some really cute stuff out here. I'm a big Nintendo fan, as you guys know. Um, I've had all the consoles, um, and I, I have most of them right now. I think the only console I don't own right now is Virtual Boy, and we do have one here in the house I can play if I want to. Um, it's a great system, um, but it was a little ahead of its time, I think, 3D-wise. So, But I'm hoping they get the virtual reality good around this time with the new PlayStation VR, and I've been hearing from some... Uh, friends on YouTube, I believe uh, the kitten has been saying the Samsung VR is excellent, so I gotta check that out too. But anyway, really cool Mario stuff. And let's see what else we have here. Looks like we got some cards here. Oh wow, check it out. Webkins, oh, this is cool. Webkins is really cool. It's like a little line of plushy animals. And it was one of the first things back in the day to actually have like kind of like a code. So you had like an online element. And I remember that parents used to, this is terrible. Parents would steal the codes and actually like, um, like use them like for their kids or whatever and leave the plushies in the store which is really bad bad parents but uh, webkins are really cool they're really ahead of time and a lot of fun and then eye of judgment thank you for these i don't know if you've been following this but i did buy eye of judgment the game it's something i've always wanted actually it's for playstation 3 and it's a pretty cool like kind of like a 3d board game and i bought the game from gamestop a while back and um, I have the camera and everything, but I didn't have any cards for it. So that's really cool. We, now we have some Eye of Judgment cards. So that is excellent. Thank you very much. We'll put these down here. And then let's see what else we have. Um, oh, she sent me a drink. Wow, this is like Japan Crate or something. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I'll put these in the fridge. Here in the media room where we record, we have um, a little fridge. So that's really cool. And it looks like we have a carbonated, uh, looks like a, it's an orange drink, which is great. And if she's been following, I'm sure you guys have heard me ranting about uh, Japan Crate has not been using the glass bottles with the marble um, because I guess they had a leakage problem at one point. But um, Japan Crate, if you're watching this video, check it out. Like you can mail these and they're perfectly safe. Um, it was the one that leaked and did not have the marble with some other glass bottle brand, but now they've been kind of scared to ship them. But that's really cool. It looks like she got this probably at like an Asian mark or something. And I have to say that like um, most towns do have like an Asian market and you can get some pretty amazing stuff there. In fact, we frequently drive to Miami just to get curry. Like they have like a little buffet thing and they have like drinks and snacks and all sorts of stuff. But I'll try and show uh, Tim's in a future video, but I'm sure most of you guys probably do have an Asian market somewhere in your town or close by. But thank you very much for the drinks. That's excellent. I'll be popping these bad boys in the fridge. Let me see what this one is here. This is probably orange. Oh no. Uh, yeah, this one's orange too. Although this one looks different. Let me take a look at this. This, um, I like the way she packed it. Good job packing too, by the way. Um, this is Fun Marble Drink. Let's see. Is it two different brands? Yeah, it looks like they're both orange drinks. Um, but they're two different brands, so I guess I'll have to do a little taste test and see which one of these is the best orange drink. But um, I do love citrusy things, as you guys know. So if you watch my last video, um, the haul before the one I just posted, like the one from about a week ago, I did buy some orange candies, and I love, love, love citrus stuff, and orange is one of my favorites. So, all right, now we got a whole mess of little boxes here. Let me kind of show this on camera real quick. There's a bunch of little footprint, super cute little wrap things. So I have no idea what's in here. Um, wow, this feels like a really cool box, like some kind of... Um, it feels like a very solid box, like not like a cardboard container, but maybe like wood or something, or I don't know, it could be like a craft project y kind of thing. I'm not really sure. Um, let me go ahead and tear into this and see what this is. Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, this is excellent. It is some Star Wars stuff. Oh, wow, that is really cool. I guess it's. <laughs> I don't know if it comes in this box normally. Maybe not. It looks like um, the top part got pushed down a little bit, but really cool. It's like a little model, very chromey looking X-Wing. So that's really excellent. My, I did a Star Wars video a while ago, some older Star Wars toys. And I know um, when I made the video, I kind of like, I don't know if I want to say it laid down thick, but I wasn't quite sure of some of the names of things. And so I just kind of like kept quieter. I was like, mm, there's a spaceship or whatever. And I know some Star Wars fans got really mad at me. All right, I want to be careful with this. This feels pretty delicate with the little things on the back. But this looks like something that is made like a like a metal craft kind of kit or something. But that's really cool. I want to keep it in its box here so I don't like lose pieces on it or whatever. Um, but I think that's what this is. It feels like it's like an aluminum craft kind of kit. But look at the detail on that. It's really cool. I mean, it has like the little afterburners and the little lasers and everything. Really nice. 
I do like Star Wars a lot, and I'm really looking forward to the new Star Wars too, the Rogue One, and I think that should be excellent. I really enjoyed the last movie a lot, and um, I mean, a lot of people hate the prequels, but I thought they were okay. I mean, we got pod racing out of it, which is some pretty cool video games for like N64, you know? So I'm pretty cool with that, but this is excellent. Thank you very much. We'll pop this down here. I'll add this to my collection of Star Wars stuffs, and it looks like we got some different, oh, there's some more cards here. Let me try and pull these out here real quick. Let's see, it looks like we got some more cute little weapons. And I'm gonna go ahead and open just one of these just to give you guys a little sampling of what this is about. And I'll probably save some for a future video too. Um, but let me see here. So Webkins again is like a plushie series. And oh wow, check this out. I've never really seen the cards before. Hot chocolate frozen mug. Hot chocolate and a glass of ice? It's cold out. That's interesting. Okay, so I don't know if this is meant to be like a, a I guess it's like a fun food for winter time. Hot chocolate and a glass of ice. That's interesting. It's like a, like a super cold. One thing I used to love doing is I take Nestle Quick and I put it in the freezer so it freezes around the rim on the top, you know, and it's like kind of like almost like ice creamy or like kind of frozen-ish. I used to love doing that. Uh, let's see here. We got some cool little Webkin's animals and we got a funky girl chair. Want to make a room look fabulously funky? Check out this scene, girl. Funny. And let's see. Got a cute little duck there. Become an insider. Challenge. Discard four cards are either exclusive or rare. Reward. Search your deck for a card of your choice. So I guess this is like a playing card game. Oh, and there's a code here, too. That's interesting. I'm going to save this code and check out what this does online. But I guess um, it gives you some feature codes and a virtual pack of cards. So it's kind of like Pokemon where they actually give you like a virtual pack of cards along with the regular cards. But I think that's that's really excellent when they do that. So way to go. Webkin's rules. <laughs> and let's see what's next. Um, there's a little thing here. Oh, it says Star Wars on the tape. So this could be a Star Wars related thing. I almost want to say this feels like, it, this looks like a playing deck of cards, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe it's Star Wars themed cards? I'm not sure, I don't have any of those. Let's see what we have here. And oh, it's a whole mess of cards. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And oh, is this like Pokemon on some of these? Or let me see here. I might have to get my knife here to try and gracefully open this. Oh yeah, there's some Pokemon cards. That is excellent. And it looks like she sent me, these are probably the online codes. Oh, that is so cool. I might open these on like the Tux, uh, the Gamer Tux channel and actually do the codes. That is excellent. Um, I do play the online game, which is a lot of fun. And um, I'm not the best at it, but I'm trying to build my online deck. And here's some Pokemon uh, Breakpoint cards. Wow, that is excellent. And these are like the dollar store ones, which I really love these. In fact, if you have a Dollar Tree or Dollar Store in your town, you may want to check into if they actually have the Pokemon cards because these are a really good value because out of these, there's three cards. And, you know, one of them, one is common, one's uncommon, and one could be anything. And the anything frequently is like an EX or a rare or something. So you get some really awesome, awesome stuff. I'm going to save this for a future video because this will make a great video like on its own right. So excellent. Thank you very much. We'll go ahead and put this over here. Trying to keep everything on camera. There we go. And let's see what's next. Okay, this one here. Wow. This almost feels like... I'm betting this is more cards, actually. Originally, I was going to say it felt like some kind of like blind box or something. Uh, Walmart's had this like weird like diagonal box that looks like a brick of gold or something. I don't know what's in it. I think... Um, I know Invisigoth bought one one time, but I don't remember if she's opened it or not. Probably not. So... I'm sure somewhere on YouTube there's somebody who's done that. Cool, there's more cards here. This is excellent. I can always use cards. Oh, we got some Star Wars stuff. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's like a note or something in here too. Let me check this out first. I don't know if this, I wonder if she was like planning on sending this separately or something. Uh, let me see what the note is. Uh, what is this? Star Wars power plates. Oh, okay, this is like a checklist of ones I guess you can get. So that's pretty cool. These are like little like metal plates. Um, I've never actually owned any of these, so this is cool. This will be something new for my collection. 
and I guess they're magnets here, so you can see you can actually put them on things. I'll probably put these in my fridge. I don't think I've ever showed a picture of the little mini fridge. Here in the media room where we film videos, uh, we have like a little fridge, and um, I got some different magnets on it, like Death Note, and there's stuff that I got from like your toy boxes, some Star Trek ones, and this would be cool. I'll add some Star Wars ones to it, so maybe I'll put that picture on Instagram later. So if you're part of Tux Toys on Instagram, you can check out my little magnet fridge collection. It's just a little fridge. And let's see here. Uh, let's see. Sith Apprentice. Ooh, look at that. And here we have... Oh, this is like the walkers from Empire Strikes Back. And another Empire Strikes Back, which is a favorite. And of course, everyone loves Jabba the Hutt. So, very, very cool. Thank you very much for the magnets. That's really cool. And then it looks like we got some Star Wars cards or something here, too. And when I was a really little kid, I used to collect Star Wars cards. And I still collect them now. But I used to, like, it was like, I didn't have a lot of money, you know? And so it was like, it was like a struggle trying to, like, save up to buy a pack. And um, so it's really cool. I, I think one time there was even a, pro a promotion where you could buy, like, bread or something and get a Star Wars, like, a special uh, Wonder Bread Star Wars card or something. And I bought a whole mess of bread. My mom got mad because I had, like, a house full of bread. But um, anyway, there's some cool. Oh, these are actually the power plates. I get it. Okay, so, so some more power plates in here. And I'll go ahead and do a separate opening for this later. This will make a good video in its own right. And I do have some other Star Wars stuff I need to open in one shot too. But this is excellent. Thank you very much. And these, I've never really seen these before, but these are really cool. Um, so if you're into Star Wars and if you are into magnets and collectibles, um, this is a really good little collection to start. So excellent. Thank you. Something new I haven't started collecting yet. Until now, of course. And let's see what's next. This wrapping paper is super duper cute, guys. I'm loving the little paw print thing. It's very, very cool. Let's see what we have. Oh my gosh, we got some science fiction blind boxes. This is cool. I'm going to go ahead and open these right now. Um, I've been really curious. I've never actually bought these before. And I've seen them. And I do like science fiction stuff. So this will be really cool to see what we have in here. Let me go ahead and pop these bad boys open. And if you guys get doubles, I, I'm a big fan of actually trading doubles and giving doubles away and stuff too. So like, um, don't be discouraged if you get doubles when you collect these. It's kind of part of the nature of collecting that you're probably going to get some doubles. And the first one is... Oh, it's that robot guy. I don't remember this guy's name, but this is from like a classic... Like, was it... Uh, boy, help me guys here. Let me take a look at the back here. Um, this is 1 in 12. Uh, this is from like an older sci-fi movie. I forget the name of it. Um, Swiss Family Robinson? No, no. I, I can't think of it actually. But this is really cool though, actually. I like robots and uh, I'll look up the name of the, this particular movie this robot's in, but he's an iconic uh, classic like robot and I'm pretty sure if memory serves me correctly he's kind of like good at first and then maybe he turns evil or something but there's a there's a dark side to that robot is the point all right let's see what's in number two I'm a big fan of the mystery minis this is like Funko's little wonderful series of little collectibles and yet they do such a great job like as far as the sculpt and everything else goes all right let's see what's in bag number two Oh, it's Predator. That's really cool. Look at the detail on him, man. He is looking like he's ready for action. He's got his fist all bundled up there, and he's got his little Predator claw waiting to get somebody. I really like the idea of Predator. They did such a great job with the little dreadlocks and his little laser scope on his shoulder and everything. Just really cool figure. Um, definitely a fun, iconic one. I haven't really seen all of the Alien versus Predators, and I am a fan of Alien as well. Hopefully the camera's getting this okay. I think the focus is going a little wacky on me. But um, anyway, Predators is a great movie. If you've never seen the original Predator, check it out, guys. I mean, it's a classic, like, 80s movie or something, but it's still a lot of fun. It really holds up pretty well compared to a lot of sci-fi movies from back then. So really cool. All right, let's see what we have in the third one. What could be? My cat spot is just off camera here. Wanted to check out all these cool little blind boxes and stuff. All right, and here is number three. This one feels a little smaller. I wonder what it could be. All right, my camera had a little technical malfunction. I ran out of space on the camera, so I had to start over here. So we have the blind bag here. This is number three of the little science fiction series. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside the bag. So this one feels a little bit smaller. 
oh, it's Judge Dredd. That's really cool. You know, I like the Judge Dredd movie. The original one was Stallone. And I like the second one they had, too. I'm, I'm not like a big comic book guy, but I've always liked Judge Dredd. Really cool character. And the movies are actually really good. So hopefully you can see that okay. And all of his Funko Mystery Mini Glory. Looking very cool with his little special gun there and his helmet. So that is excellent. Thank you very much. Let me try and put him up there. See if I can get him to stand. I'm sure he'll stand. I'm not sure about the balance here. Oh, spot just jumped. Okay, that is bound to happen. We'll try one more time. There we go. Okay, and we have one more big thing in here. Oh my gosh, what is this? Once again, with the super cute little kitty cat paw paper. And this feels... A lot of different like levels or shapes here. I always try and guess gifts. I'm, I'm not always the best at guessing them, but I always try. Um, feels like there's a blister pack or something in here. Let's go ahead and see what we have inside the package. Oh, it looks like it's a bunch of stuff here. Let's see. Oh, sweet. This is like a My Little Pony pack. That is excellent. Wow, so much pony goodness here. All right, so inside here we had some, oops, I don't want to lose my thing. Oh no, <laughs> it's falling off. We got some My Little Pony packs here, which are really cute to have like the stickers and they're like packs of cards and bonus stickers. So a lot of fun there. This is from the series one, My Little Ponies. And then we also have some cute little cards on top of that, little stickers and some more little My Little Pony packs. Friendship is magic. And what else do we have here? Let's see, oh, everything's got to fall over. More little My Little Pony collectible card game. And some My Little Pony French's Magic. And these, oops, now we're losing things again. And more little cards, so that's really cool. And it looks like there's a poster or something here too. Let me see what this is all about. Oh, this is cool guys, check it out. A My Little Pony poster. I really enjoy this show a lot. I don't know if you guys have watched this. I know some people might be like, oh, I don't want to watch My Little Pony, like, you know, whatever. But they've really done a great job of, like, making this kind of, like, modern. So if you're only familiar, if you've never watched the new My Little Pony, and if you're only familiar with the old one or the stigma of the old one, and I know the old one was very popular back in the 80s or whatever, but the new My Little Pony definitely is a game changer for this series. Like, they've breathed, like, wonderful new life into My Little Pony. Great characters, great storytelling, you know, great voice actors even. Like, the whole thing is excellent. And inside here we have a My Little Pony Rainbow Dash collectible tin. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up right now. I, I really can't resist. I'll probably save the cards here for a My Little Pony video coming up. Um, but I've just, I cannot wait opening this up. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this little package here and see what, see what is inside the tin. Looks like this is special. I want to try and be very careful not to, to mess this up. Of course we have Rainbow Dash on the outside there. And people sometimes ask me what my favorite pony is. And I think originally I thought Rainbow Dash was really cool. And I still love Rainbow Dash. But I, I kind of, boy, it's it's really tough, you know. Um, Twilight Sparkle is really cool. Um, Fluttershy is probably what I'd say is my favorite right now. But it really goes back and forth a little bit as far as what is my favorite pony. So, tough call, man. Okay, inside the package here we have one dog tag pack, a poster, a special foil sticker, an exclusive Rainbow Dash foil card, uh, two premier 12 card uh, packs. Uh, let's see, one of the uh, Knights packs, 12 card pack, and a Crystal Games pack. So a lot of cool stuff here. That, this is excellent, man. Check this out. Let me go ahead and open this up here. My little pony. I love this box, man. This is really cute. It's like really tight being new. Okay, and inside here you can see this is like this is like a great little gift pack, man. It's such a awesome variety of My Little Pony stuff. We have My Little Pony dog tag and My Little Pony collectible card game. 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 I'm gonna be set for this game, man. And a poster. Let me see. This might be a different poster. Um, oh, there's like a sticker or something too here at the show. Let's see, check this out. Oh, those stickers are awesome, man. Check that out. Super shiny. I'm definitely digging that. I've been thinking, like, it might be cool to go to BronyCon sometime. I've, I've never been, tell you the truth. And I know there's, you know, there's girls and guy people who go to that. And um, it looks like it would be a really good time. So. My Little Pony stickers and special cards. So that's really cool. Really digging the shininess. I need to find a special place for this sticker because this is, look at how cool and shiny that is. I'm definitely digging that. 
So we'll put that back here and let's take a look at the special poster. And this looks like this is different than the other poster. Folding out, we got all the little ponies here. On the back here, it talks about different things you can buy, which is really cool. Collectible card games, lunch boxes. There's a collector tin. Um, so many cool things. So, and I'm really hoping one of my favorite series of my little pony is the mystery minis I talk about in a lot of my videos. And I hope that you have some new mystery minis. There's all the little ponies. So really cute. And no Discord though. I like Discord too, actually. Um, but he's not really a pony, so I can see why he wouldn't be in the poster. But um, really cool, man. This is really nice. Um, I want to thank you so much. This has like been like an awesome, awesome little box. I mean, it really, honestly, it feels like Christmas. So much cool stuff. I want to go ahead and open just a few more things. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my little ponies for my little pony video coming up. Um, I'll stick these in here so that way I don't lose them. And they're kind of all together. There we go. And my little pony packs. And the poster, I think I'm gonna keep this out so it keeps it really like super duper nice. But man, that is really awesome. Thank you so much. So much good stuff, oh my God. Okay, we'll put this um, kind of like right back here so we can admire it while we're taking a look at just a couple more things. And I wanna take a look at some of these Walking Deads too here. Just wanna go ahead and open these up and see what we have inside here. I think these might require some assembly. So, oh yeah, these, actually these do require some assembly. So I think I will make a different video because it takes me a little time to build these, but these are basically like little humans and walkers that like snap together and you can see they're really cool. There's a lot of intricate little pieces and actually these are McFarlane toy actually too, which is really cool. And I do kind of collect McFarlane stuff besides Walking Dead, which I love on its own right. Anything that's McFarlane, they do such a great job. He's basically a toy maker who's super into like detail. So whenever you see like McFarlane, Farland toys, you know it's gonna be like a super nice toy, you know, as far as detail, no matter if it's something real small like this or something bigger like a big huge action figure or whatever. But I'm um, very cool. So anyway, we'll save this for a future video. And um, guys, I want to thank you very much for this quick unboxing video. And again, we'll have some more stuff on this product uh, later down the road in its own special videos, kind of broken out by category. But this is just fantastic YouTube friend mail. Thank you so much. This has been like a lot of fun. And um, God, I just I'm really blown away with the stuff in this box. So it's fantastic. And if you have not, if you tuned into Texas Toys for the first time, I do a lot of these different things in different videos like My Little Pony, Pokemon. So check out my back queue and um, subscribe. We have a nice giveaway going on right now. It's the 4,600 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away a brand new Pokemon 20 and some other really cool toys. So you can check out all the details in that video, the 4,600 subscriber giveaway video. And also be sure and check out Text Reviews, my review channel. Be sure and check out Text Toys on Instagram and Twitter for previews of upcoming videos and sometimes some behind the scene slice of life stuff too. Some unique photos you'll only see on there, which is really cool. And um, again, if you're interested in sending Tux Toys some stuff, I, I love to get mail. So the information for mailing is right down here in the About tab, either on the page, the About tab, or the more information about this video, or you can just ask me too, you know. But um, again, thank you very much, Night Sucker. I'm really, I'm sincerely blown away. This has been like an awesome box. So thank you, and we'll be opening some more of this stuff real soon, okay? All right, friends, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.